All right, everyone, breaking, breaking Bible prophecy on this, the 6th day of February, 2013. The holy city, Jerusalem, is about to be trampled on. Revelation 11. Now the way for the Antichrist to come onto the world stage and for the seven-year peace treaty, Psalms 83, the way has been made. Now I'm going to present this news article to you and I'm going to put the link below. The Pope and the Vatican now are going to trample on in Jerusalem. These things must happen. These things must come to pass. And you wonder how close we are to the rapture of the church. Now there has been a, an agreement signed. The Pope has been given a seat in the tomb of David. Now I'm sure it's just not going to be a chair. I'm sure it's going to be a golden throne in the tomb of David, amen, where Yeshua, where Jesus, where the last supper was held, where Jesus broke bread and drank wine with his disciples, where the last supper was held, where David and Solomon are believed to be buried. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. This now makes the way for the Antichrist and the seven-year peace treaty, Psalms 83. Just, just stay with me here. I'll be right back and bring you this story. All right, and here's the article, and I want to thank Chris, Video Man CR, DVD, 8-Track, for sending me the link to this, and I will provide the link in the show more box. Exclusive, a seat for the Pope at King David's tomb. Jerusalem is about to be trampled on by none other than the Pope and the Vatican. Israel seems to have sold Jerusalem to the Vatican. An historic agreement has been drafted between Israel and the Vatican. The Israeli authorities have granted the Pope an official seat in the room where the Last Supper is believed to have taken place. And it, I'm sure it's not going to be a chair. It's not going to be a little wooden chair. I'm sure it'll be a golden throne in David's tomb. On Mount Zion in Jerusalem, and where David and Solomon, Jewish kings, are considered by some research to also be buried there. I want you to understand that this is Bible prophecy. These things must happen. This is going to be short-lived, but this now opens up the way. It makes the way for the Antichrist, Psalms 83, and the Seven-Year Peace Treaty now. It is a culmination of a long campaign by the Catholic Church to regain religious stewardship over the place where Jesus is supposed to have broken bread and drunk wine with his disciples on the eve of his crucifixion. This is an enormous issue pushed through without any public debate. According to our sources, the agreement which is expected to be ratified in June, gives the Pope a special authority over the second floor of the building so that Christian pilgrims will be able to celebrate religious functions like Pope John Paul did back in 2000. So where they can come and bring in their idolatry, their paganism. This is quite, I'm going to put the link below. I, I really, the agreement constitutes Israel's uh, compilation to the Vatican's efforts to Christianize the holy site. The holy site is about to be trampled on by the Pope. Like when a Catholic convent was built in Auschwitz. Uh, I don't even want to read on anymore. It's quite long. I'm going to put the link uh, below. But Beloved, if you're looking at Bible prophecy and so many of us are and so many that are uh, believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. This opens the door now for the Antichrist to come on the world stage in the seven-year peace treaty to be signed. Look up. Yeshua. Yeshua Yahweh. Please. It's time to go home. Leave me comments, everyone. I love you. Leave me comments on this.